Hello everyone, 3D Hero here, and in today's video I'll be explaining what investigations are, and why you should focus a lot more on them rather than avoid them. So investigations are considered side missions that offer extra rewards and materials for crafting gear, and allow you to face monsters that you have faced in the wild again with extra benefits. To unlock this feature you need to go in expedition mode and go into the wild and search for monster marks, footprints and genuinely kill monsters. Or you can also send your tail rider squad out and wait till they finish their mission to which they present their findings and give you 5 investigations if they found. Just look for the little map sign as shown and you will have a new investigation ready and waiting for you back at the resource centre. Doing these things will allow you to gather investigations and they will all come in different varieties and challenges that you can take part in either by yourself or with groups. When you first start to get investigations as you rank up, they will be based around your hunter rank level and each one you gain will have a different objective and condition compared to some of the others you get. But they also come with added on bonuses that can work with you or against you. At the same time they also come with free tiers that max out 4 rewards that dictate what type of reward you may get. So bronze tier equals coin parts from monster, silver equals slightly rare parts from monster, and gold tier equal very rare parts that the monster has a low chance to gain. You may also get modifiers called upsearch that are common within expedition mode and common investigations. This modifier can either enhance your surroundings so you can find more materials to farm such as bone piles, ores, gathering points, mushrooms etc. Or increase the amount of zen you gain or can decrease your time limit or how many people you can bring etc. If you are ever low on materials and you want to hunt but farm at the same time, then I advise you to keep a lookout for some of these modifiers. The purpose of these is for you to know which investigation you can do to achieve the best rewards possible, so you can build your ideal armor set and create more varied and powerful weapons as you grow. You gain more investigations as you rank up and at the same time rewards get increased while difficulty also ramps up. For example you may get 100 rank 3 missions to hunt down 20 rest points, you only have 30 minutes to do this in and you can only have 4 people to help you but you gain increased zeni and gain bronze rewards. On the other hand you may get 100 rank 6 investigation to where you need to capture a Toby Dachi and Great Jaguars within 30 minutes. You can only have 2 hunters and can only faint 2 times for the mission but you gain silver and gold rewards upon success and you also have an upsurge modifier active within the zone to where it will allow you to spawn more ores on the world map. As you can see these missions can all vary and some of them can be pretty easy to do on your own while others may require you to have extra support to complete them. And you can also stack these up to a max of 50 investigations and have 250 on the hand to access at any time and do them whenever you like. However there is a catch, they are limited and can't be done infinitely. As you can see on the screen there is a number by the top of the investigation telling you how many times you can repeat this mission which will vary at times. Once you hit zero that investigation is gone for good. And you won't get that same mission again with the same objectives and until you go out and investigate some monster prints and even then you're not guaranteed to get it a second time. It's all RNG based at best. The whole point of investigation is to give you a near unlimited chance at fighting and gathering materials and building up your arsenal so you can be prepared to take on end game content. When you first start it's important as it allows you to get materials and rare parts you need for crafting and a bit of extra zeny. Once you hit end game, this will be your bread and butter for getting better armor sets, better weapons, better materials, and most important, more zeni. As the zeni for most weapons and armor set is quite a lot, so you really have to make good use of some of these missions. And that everyone is the end of that explanation, and benefits of doing investigations. These missions are designed to help and challenge you so you can get better gear and be prepared against the toughest foes within the game. Once you understand the basis of investigations, you'll be able to take them on with ease and be greatly rewarded for your efforts. If you enjoyed the video, then a like would be appreciated, or you can sub and share for more content such as this in the near future. If there's anything you're confused with, then please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll do my best to help you. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.